Hey everyone, how's it going? I just finished building this calculator app in Vue, so I'm going to show you how it works really quick. It's pretty simple. You can just type a number. Maybe you want to add 2 to 10, click equals. There's 12. You could clear it out. Or if you want, you could say maybe 20 minus 2, and then add something else to it. You could multiply it, divide it, do whatever you want. It also includes decimals. And you could do negative numbers, so you could do like negative 6 plus 2 would equal negative 4, and there we go. If this seems like something that's interesting to build, stick around and find out how we build it. Alright, to start things off, I'm going to open my terminal by holding control and pressing tilde. Inside of this terminal, I'm going to say view, create, calc. I want to use view 3, so I'm going to press down once, and then I'm going to select that. Alright, that's all done. So I'm going to see into the calculator, then I'm going to say npm run serve, and open it up. The first thing I'm going to do in here is get rid of some of this boilerplate. <laughs> I'm going to empty out the template, get rid of the component and the script tag. Empty out the style. Also going to delete all the components and the assets. All right, the first thing we can do is work with our template. So let's make a div and let's give it an ID equal to calc. Now inside of this, the first thing we're going to do is make a screen. So let's say div class equals screen, and let's give it a zero. Next, let's make a div with a class equal to button in clear. This one's going to be a C. Make another one of these, but it's going to say button and equal. And it's going to be an equal sign. Then we're going to make a button with a number, which is going to be 1. Another one of these, it's going to be 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. All right, and then in between all of these, we're going to put our operators. So, first thing we can do is change this from number to just button. And then let's make the first operator multiplication. Let's do another one of these. Make it addition, subtraction, and division. All right, that should be it for our template for now. We'll come back once we get some of the script going. Let's style this up. Now I just want to make this style super simple, focus more on the actual logic. So let's get calc. Let's say border, 2 pixel, solid, black, width, 400 pixel, margin, 0, auto, border, radius, 5 pixels, Display, flex, flex wrap, wrap, justify content, space between. Then let's get the screen. Let's say width, 100%, background, color, black, color, green, yellow. 
text align, right? Font size, 30 pixels. And padding, 15 pixels. There's our screen. Let's get our buttons going now. Let's say width, 26%. Text align center. Color, white. Background, color black. There's a start to it. Let's say border radius. 50% cursor pointer margin 5 pixel display flex flex direction column Align content, center, justify content, center, padding, top, 5 pixel, padding, bottom, 5 pixel, and that looks pretty good, just for a basic style. You can make it look however you want, though. I just want to focus more on the actual script. Let's give it a hover, so let's say opacity uh, 0.5, that looks nice. Let's also change the equals and clear, so let's say button clear, background color dark red. Width 40%, border radius 0. And then we're basically going to do the same thing with the equal sign. So, what we're going to say here though is dark blue. I might have just named it equal. I did. Okay, cool. That looks pretty good. For some reason we have this weird space here and my guess is because I missed a number or something. Let's see what I missed. Oh, there's one more operator, the modulus sign. I want to include that. And there we go. Now this looks perfect. Let's start working on our script. So the first thing I'm going to do here is instead of zero, I'm going to say this equals screen. At the top of this script, I'm going to say import ref from view. Now we're going to make a setup method here since we're using the composition API. And here we're going to say let screen equal ref and we're going to pass it as zero. We also have to make sure that we're returning it. And we have one extra closing bracket. But there we go. Now you'll see too, if I wanted to make this a five, I can make it a five. But the cool thing here is I can also change the value inside of the code. So let's say screen equals 10. And now it'll equal 10. And I can do that with on clicks, which is what we're going to be doing. And that's because it's a ref, REF, which is just a reactive component in view. So let's set up a basic function for these numbers. Let's say at click equals. Then let's say concat num. And we'll pass it the actual number as a string, which in this case is 1. Now inside the setup, let's say function concat num. So take in a number. Now we don't want to concatenate it if we have the basic zero. So what we can say here is screen value equals zero. If it does, then we want to set 
screen value equal to num. If it doesn't, then we want to take everything in screen value, so plus equals, because we want to add it to num. Sorry, we want to add num to it. And make sure that you're returning this value as well. And now you'll see we get one, and then we get a whole bunch more ones, which is perfect. So now what we want to do is the exact same thing here, but for all of the numbers, not the operators, though. And then we just have to add the numbers. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Um, oh, and I know what I was forgetting before. I apologize. This is supposed to be a decimal, not a modulus sign. And we can make this one seen as a number as well. All right, that looks pretty good. Now let's work on our operators. So what we're going to say here is instead of concat num, we're going to say concat op. And then we're going to pass it the operator. Let's start with just the multiplication. So let's say function concat op. It's going to take an operator. Now here let's say if, and we're going to take this, so if screen val triple equals zero, or screen value equals a decimal. What we can do here is say if op equals minus, <clears throat> then we're going to say screen value equals op, and return. Else, we're just going to return. Also, again, make sure that you're returning this. So now what this is going to do is if we click plus, multiplication, all this stuff, it wouldn't do anything. But if we were to click minus, it will turn it into a subtraction. Now you won't see it yet because we have to add all of our operators here. So let's go ahead and do that. This one is going to be a plus, minus, and division. Plus, all of these are doing nothing, but if we click minus, it does do something. And that's exactly what we want. Now, if we aren't returning, what we can do is say screen value plus equals op. So this should be nothing now, but if we click 4, we can click 4 plus 6 times 2 divided by 8 plus 0.8 something like that. Now let's make our equals function. So for button equal, let's say at click will be a function we'll call evaluate. And let's do clear as well. Clear is going to be a function called clear. Then let's make these functions in the script. So we can simply say For function clear, screen value equals <clears throat> the number zero. Make sure that's a number and not a string. And then we can also say function 
evaluate. And for this one, we're just going to say screen value equals eval, which is a built-in function in JavaScript, which can evaluate a string. And that's going to equal screen value. Then let's make sure that we return both of these. And now we should be able to say, let's say 46 clear. Let's say 4 times 2 equals 8. Perfect. Divided by 3 equals some decimal. Let's add 6. And this is working exactly how we want it to. Now let's clear it. Let's make sure our negative numbers work. So negative 6 plus 2. Perfect. That's working exactly how we want it to. So we're all done now. That was actually super simple. Hopefully you enjoyed this and you learned something. It really wasn't too much code. If you did enjoy it, please leave a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this every week, subscribe. Have a great day. Take it easy.